for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff and of tactical gear. So I particularly like getting free tactical gear. What I've been sent here are concealed carry pistol holsters. Uh, Creatrill reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a comparison and review video between their new concealed carry pistol holster and several of their competitors. And I said, well, that sounds awesome. And they sent me a, a couple of options to take a look at. So I'm going to go through them all and compare the various features and costs and all of that. And then we will, of course, see how useful they are for Nerf. So starting with the Lyracy, so I think that's how it's pronounced, we have this very fine, very small, little pistol holster. Now, it has the usual features you'd expect. It does have a retention strap that on this one is elastic and snaps into place. The outside is a, a, appears to be a neoprene, so it would be fairly comfortable up against your skin. This is designed to go inside your waistband um, to be concealed, and these ones are right hand for that. Though if you were to just have it on the outside, not concealed, and on a belt, this would be left-handed. So I kind of like that because I plan to not have them in my belt, I plan to put them on my gear. So that is pretty nifty. The only rigid part on the inside is right on this top edge, um, which keeps it open and so that it's a little bit easier to reholster. Um, the clip is plenty durable and is held on with some kind of a synthetic material here, and then has the name. So the nice is flat, fairly decent, and these ones I found them, I could find them online for about 16 bucks. There may be places where you can get them cheaper, but that was the ones that I found when I uh, originally Googled it. Up next we have one from Tacticon.com, the concealed carrier. And um, the holster itself um, is so similar to this one, if you were looking at them from a distance you might not even be able to tell that there was any difference at all. Uh, this one's a little bit darker and the, the materials are slightly different, but they are exactly the same shape, uh, ex pretty much exactly the same design. The uh, retention loop on the Lyracy is a little bit longer, so that may be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which pistol you're using. And the belt loops are slightly different sizes. The uh, Tacticon one is longer, which means it would fit on a longer belt, but it would be looser on a smaller belt, so again, up in the air. Other than that, the materials seem to be pretty much exactly the same. It has that same rigid edge in there to make it a little bit easier to holster, I assume. Another difference between them is the uh, snap on this one is covered by what looks like a sticky bit of nylon. And this one does not. So if you were terribly concerned about it scratching your gun, I could see that as a possible issue. But that's kind of up to you. When they are shipped to you, the seams are a little bit way higher than um, you would normally want them to be. Um, and this one at least came with instructions. There's probably a note on this one as well somewhere. Um, that it just explains that you, you cut it to where you want it to be. You just use a knife, slit it until it's open enough for your, your particular gun to fit. So. These ones uh, take a little bit of, of, of work in that regard, but like I said, they provide you. These ones have a lifetime guarantee. The Tacticon one has a lifetime guarantee. I don't know if this one... 18-month uh, manufacturer guarantee. So this one's year and a half. This one's lifetime, but you have to register within 15 days. And the other thing that the Tacticon one has that neither of the other two has is it comes with a magazine holster as well. Pretty much identical design, neoprene, nylon on the inside. <clears throat> Same belt loop. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Which does explain why this one is a little bit more expensive. This one, I found it, the cheapest I found it was $18. So, there may, once again, there may be ways there, places that are cheaper, but 18 bucks, but you get a mag holster as well as the pistol holster. Well, last but not least, we have the one from the sponsors of all this, Creatrill. And it is has two or a couple of very distinct differences. The first is that it actually does have a rigid um, layer all the way in between. The outside is that same neoprene, nice and soft. It has some fancy stitching. I don't know if you can see it on there at all, but it looks like there's a D and a dash. I don't know why. 
And then there's a, a polymer layer in between that makes the whole thing rigid instead of just the spine. And then it has a 600D nylon lining on the inside, which should stand up to just about anything. It also means that because they've got that um, polymer layer, the snap is connected to it and doesn't go through the lining at all and is definitely covered. The belt loop is about the same size as the Lyracy one, so it's a little bit smaller. And the material that's covering it is, in fact, actually leather. It's not even fake leather, it's really leather. I don't know if you would consider that better or worse, depending on your views on leather, I suppose. And the strap is not elastic. It is, in fact, just nylon, um, which means it won't wear out like elastic does, but it also means that it may or may not fit your particular gun. Uh, once again, you could adjust that seam to be whatever length you need to so that you're, uh, you can get the strap on if you really, really want to. Uh, but I really like the, the lined one, the one that has the solid liner, because it makes it much easier to reholster. Uh, a, a, a less rigid one, it can fold over, and then you go to try to stick it in, and, and, and you miss. So, I really like that particular feature. Um, all three of them, the construction seems to be very, very good. Uh, other than the internal lining, once again, it looks to be exactly the same shape, very similar design, um, just a full liner instead of um, just the one ridge. Uh, and you may or may not, you may consider that to be a, a, a bad thing in a concealed gun as opposed to, you know, wearing it on the belt like I plan to do. So that's entirely up to you. But the stitching on all of them uh, is very, very good. I didn't see any places where it missed the bias tape, the edging. Um, doesn't seem to be any terrible loose threads or anything along those lines. Um, the, the nylon, the straps are thoroughly well attached. Oh, that's interesting. On these ones, it attaches on the inside. And on this one, it's attached on the outside. So that's an interesting difference. But these belts, uh, belt loops do work with molly. You can just slide it into a molly loop. I have one very similar to this design. Um, currently on my heavy loadout, though it's a left hand or right hand draw because I draw my double strike from it and then my hammer shot from the other side. Um, this would allow me to then have one on both sides, which is pretty neat. And I do actually plan to get a bunch more of these. Um, the big, another big feature of these ones is they are cheap. Uh, these ones are ten forty nine on Amazon, and you can get them in both left and right, which I will probably order a bunch because I've been wanting to do an all rebel pistol loadout, and these fit beautifully. So let's get into that question. The obvious big question is, what pistols do they hold? Are these any good for Nerf? This is a Nerf channel, so yes, they will in fact fit a wide variety of Nerf pistols. These ones, since they you have to modify them in order for them to fit uh, a fair variety of them, but they will all fit the exact same blasters. And I'm going to go with this one because it's the rigid one that I really like. So starting with smaller ones, we have the Stormtrooper Blaster, mine with the silencer given to me by Jimmy Barr fits beautifully even with the silencer they will fit a double down but the issue they have and especially this one because it's got the rigid lining is that the barrel tends to catch because it has that sight and then this whole ridge it can be drawn but it catches a little on those ones it's less of an issue on these ones uh, because they are less rigid and it'll, it'll pull through a little bit easier so keep that in mind if you happen to really love the double down this is one that kind of surprised me, and I was actually really pleased because I've been wanting to do uh, follow Chris Kataya's guard or guide on making one of these really, really powerful because they do in fact fit, and they fit very nicely, and I like that. So if I wanted to make a really powerful sniper pistol, now I've got a holster that would very easily fit them. Um, it never even occurred to me to try these in the shoulder rigs, but the shoulder rigs seem to hold about the same size blaster, so it would probably fit into that, and I might have to give that a try. I might have tested it. I don't remember. Uh, it will fit the Kira blaster from Star Wars quite nicely. All of these are almost a little small. The trigger gets all the way up in there, and it makes it a little bit harder to get your finger in as you draw, but that may or may not be an issue for you. For slightly larger pistols, and for ones that I'm more interested in, we have the uh, Star Shot, and it does fit very nicely. It might fit in a little bit deeper and a little bit better uh, if you took the sight off, but it will fit with the sight on, and then you can actually get your hand in and draw it. It will fit the Pink Crush then, obviously, because that's even a little bit smaller, and it actually fits that one really, really nicely. 
The next Rebel one, and this was one that surprised me, it will fit a messenger beautifully. I mean, the, the trigger hole lines up perfectly with the holster. Um, and it's, it's right where you'd want it to be. So that was actually kind of surprising. I figured this one was going to be too big, uh, but it is not. To give Boomco its due, the uh, Batgirl shotgun pistol thing also fits beautifully into these holsters, which is really, really nice because the, the belt loop hooks that these come with are not exactly great for running. They're neat that you can hook it on your belt with that bat symbol, but they're not the most convenient to draw, whereas that is beautiful. And finally, the one that I'm really pleased with, it does in fact fit the double strike perfectly. And it will even clip, even with the non-elastic um, strap, it fits that one perfectly. It won't clip on really any of the other ones. The only one that even came close was this one, but it's a really tight to get it on there. But with the double strike, no problem whatsoever. And last but not least, we have the Sharp Fire. The Sharp Fire fits in these ones a little too far, but on these ones, before you make any alteration to them, it fits much better. So, I thought that was kind of neat that even though these ones aren't the best, they do serve a distinct purpose of giving me a nice holter for my snap fire. Uh, final feature is, of course, the magazine holder. What will it work? Well, naturally, it will work with rival magazines, which is pretty cool. Fits them quite tight. They're not going to fall out from any amount of running. And this kind of surprised me. They will, in fact, also fit katana mags, but a little bit tight. But they will fit in there. And so the one concern would be that you might end up pulling the whole holster off when you go to draw it because of how tight it is, but with enough time it might finally work its way a little bit looser, but given that they're nylon lined, they might not loosen up too much. Uh, but they will fit, and I suppose you could take the whole thing off and still stick it into a magwell, it's not like it would prevent you from doing that. Um, I don't know if the, it would affect the follower. I don't think so. So, yeah, if you want to splurge on the extra, a couple, you know, extra eight dollars to get this to go with your holster that's lovely if not these ones are 10.49 on amazon link will be in the description of course and uh, yeah i really like them i'm definitely going to get a couple more of these for a loadout that i've been thinking on get probably uh, i don't know four at least maybe six to do the full loadout uh, two of each direction so i can put them on a vest and just have a ridiculous number of rebel pistols on me so yeah there you have it uh thanks Creatril, or Creatril, or however you pronounce it. I don't know where you'd prefer to have the uh, stress. But they've got a skull with an American flag on it as their logo. Pretty nifty. Uh, they also have a money-back guarantee, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, of the three, I mean, they're remarkably similar, but I really like that interior lining, so... They are the ones that I will be getting more of. They're also ridiculously cheap and coming right and left. So there you have it. Thank you for sending me all of these. I will end up using them because they do work. I just prefer these ones. So there you have it. That's my thought on these holsters. I hope this was helpful. And thank you guys for watching.